You know Alan Marino? He's bring the sexy back. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. Now, before we get started on this video, I want you guys to check out a cool new shirt I got. It's a shirt I ordered off of uh, that website I talked about, blanklabel.com. It's a dress shirt, but I actually got it a little bit shorter. I customized it, made it shorter so I could wear it untucked and it looked pretty cool. I got it fitted. This is a fitted, almost European looking shirt because it's snug and I can't gain too much weight or else it's going to look like I'm busting loose. Um, I put two cool pockets on it. It's a blue sort of checkerboard pattern. I put blue inside the cuff, inside the collar. I dig the shirt, but this video isn't about my cool new shirt. No, it's not. It's about what is underneath the cool new shirt. Now, I get a ton of comments posted on these videos about workouts and exercise and Aaron what do you do for this what do you do for that what's your workout routine what's your diet like how much cardio do you do and I've always shied away from doing videos on basically on fitness or diet because there are other guys that specialize in that their entire channels are dedicated and they do a much better job than I will but I thought you know what my channel's really about image and uh, once all those stylish sexy clothes come off what you're left with is your naked body and uh, that has a lot to do with your image and how you look out of your clothes is important to you I'm sure as well as it is to me and so today I thought why not I'll do a video tell you what I do uh, for a certain body part that body part abdominal muscles today we're talking about abs <laughs> too much I know <laughs> some of you are like what what is he doing I'm like stripping what's up today it's all about abs we're gonna talk about what I do in order to keep my stomach flat and my abs looking as good as possible so now I'm gonna take you guys to the gym and show you the exercise the number one exercise that I do that keeps my abs looking as good as possible What? You thought you were going to see me doing a bunch of crunches? I told you. This is what you need to know about ab exercise and getting your abs to actually show. Everybody's got abs. Every, you've got abs. Your mama's got abs. Everybody's got abdominal muscles. It's just a matter of getting your body fat low enough in order to be able to see them. All the crunches in the world, there is no exercise that is going to give you a great sizzling six-pack if your body fat is too high and you've got excess fat laying over top of them it's basically you've got a you know just a covering over your abs everybody's got them so how do you get that covering off basically by diet and exercise diet you gotta eat healthy gentlemen if you can't see your abs and you want to you gotta eat cleanly you know I'm not going to explain exactly how you should eat because really it's up to you and there are a lot of diet books and fitness books out there that can help you design a diet that works for you Cardio, you know, it's really up to you what you want to do. I personally do kind of a lot because I like to eat and I like to drink beer. And so I sort of offset that by doing an excessive amount of cardio in order to stay fit. Um, but, you know, 30, 45 minutes a few times a week just to get you started will work. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's, it's not about doing crunches. It's not about doing hanging leg raises. It's about getting your body fat low and low enough in order to be able to see your abs. Now I'll assume that you're going to run out and start eating better and doing cardio. Um, but what about the exercises? There are a million different abdominal exercises out there and it's a good idea once a week, twice a week to do abs. You're trying to get that rocking six pack. You want to make sure that once that fat is gone that the abs are looking good, sharp, shredded even. And so let's go through right now and talk about some of the exercises you can do for your abs. The first and most basic exercise are crunches. Decline abs. The more advanced hanging leg raises. How many of you guys out there have been to the gym and have seen somebody doing this exercise? Little word of wisdom, don't do that exercise. Reason being is that you don't want to do anything that's going to basically strengthen and thicken your oblique muscles. Obliques being on the side of your body, next to your abs, those like line or finger thing. You don't want to build those up. And all this nonsense, oh, 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 
Ugh, no, don't do it. <laughs> it builds it up, makes your waist wider. Not a good look. Stick to the abs. Your obliques get enough work doing regular ab exercises. And there you have it. That's pretty much my secret to uh, keeping a relatively flat stomach. I eat pretty well. I do a lot of cardio. I do abs about once a week. Other than that, it's easy. Anybody can do it, right? <laughs> Uh, all the ab exercising in the world is not going to get it done. You've got to take care of yourself. Diet and cardio is 99% of it. The other 1% is our ab exercises. Everybody's got a six pack underneath it. And the, you know, basically I want you to look great with your shirt off. I want you to be super confident. Picture it. You're walking down the street. There's a cat. Everybody on YouTube loves cat. The cat's on fire. You're the only one around. You stop. You, there's nothing. You've got to put this cat out. It, you've got a shirt. Boom! You rip it off because you're confident because your abs are killer. And you put the cat out. It's a really cute cat. It's like Piglet. And uh, all of a sudden, a, a television news crew drives by. They see this guy who just rescued this cat. He's got no shirt on. And they start filming. They're like, my God, this guy's a hero. And geez, look at those ripped abs. Man, you think your phone isn't going to ring after that? You saved the cat and your abs look fantastic. <laughs> What's up? Anyway, I want you to look great with your shirt off. I want you to be confident. I want you to just feel like a million bucks at the pool along with when you have your clothes on. I'm Aaron Marino. I, ho I hope you got something from this. <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. So I had a pretty good week. I've got no complaints, I've got no rant today. Um, the funny thing is, is that I'm mad at Piglet because that little video I, I put up of her begging for food got like 3,000 more views than the video I posted like the day before about coloring your hair that I thought was pretty funny. What's up with people loving cats on YouTube? <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I guess a cat guy, but that's kind of creepy and weird. Um, I got a cat, I got two cats. Um, I've got Shmoo, too. You guys haven't met Shmoo, have you? Want to meet Shmoo? 19 pounds of furry love. This is Shmoo. 19 pounds of furry fun. Say hi, Shmoo. Hi. This cat's a beast. <laughs> uh, so I got two cats. <laughs> this video will probably get more views than any of the other ones I did, too. But, uh, no, seriously. Um, I had a great week. I did have something funny happen to me. I was in Lenox Mall with a client. I went to the bathroom and I'm washing my hands. I'm looking for paper towels. They don't have paper towels. They've got those stupid air hand dryers that never dry your hands. So I'm like just looking around, I'm shaking my hands. All of a sudden somebody comes in and says, Aaron, what's up? And I said, hey, I don't know you. And he said, hey, I, I watch your YouTube videos. And I'm like, okay, my shot at redemption. I don't want to be awkward and weird. So I'm like, uh, I've got wet hands. I can't shake his hand. And so he puts out his elbow. We do an elbow bump because that's how I roll. And uh, he's like, what's up? And I asked him his name and I said, great to meet you. It went over smoothly except for me having wet hands. And so I'd like to give a shout out to Alan from A-Town. <laughs> what's up, Alan? See, I'm getting better at this. Remember, Bangladesh man is a sexy man in the world. 